Hey guys, what's going on? It's Justin just coming to you with another video. Uh, today is going to be an unboxing and an installation video. Uh, I got a new backspacer uh, from Flytanium from some guy on eBay. I get all my stuff from eBay. Uh, that, uh, any, anything that I can. You know, pocket knives are great on eBay. Um, but basically, uh, let's check it out. I got a backspacer. We're going to unbox it. And we're going to install it on the PM2. So, uh, let's check it out. Okay, we got paperwork and we got a backspacer. Sweet. Titanium. Backspacer. Stone washed. It is stone washed. Very nice. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. So here is the item. And here is my tray. Okay, here's the PM2. And the backspacer. 
I got everything on a little tray. This is a uh, lanyard tube removal tool, which is what you need to do this job. Without it, it, can't, it could be a bitch for you. So let's, uh, and then I got Oreo bits that are supposed to be pretty nice. I'm going to try a T8. Yep, T8 for the body. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad, that second screw. Okay, so the two stop pins are T8s. And I'm going to guess the pivot is a T10. Yep, T10. Came right out. As you can see, all the screws are removed. The only thing left is this lanyard tube, which we're going to use this thing to get out. Alright, so let's... Pull this apart. Okay. Now we're going to put this tool in on the lanyard tube, like, like so. I'm going to screw it on. As you can see. It's going to pop the scales right off. Okay. Now the scales are off, and I'm left with this knife. So I'm going to take off the blade, as you can see, it's kind of dusty. The only thing I got left is this pivot lanyard tube. It's a little dusty. No big deal. No big deal. So what I'm going to do is take this spacer and 
I'm gonna place it right on like so now you can see it okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lube up the pivot with some KPL lube knife pivot lube Nothing is in there. Okay, so we got a little knife pivot lube. We're going to put on the phosphor bronze washer. Okay, now we're going to put the blade on. Okay, now the blade is on. Now we're going to take the lube and just hit this a little bit. Actually, I should probably put some on the pivot. Okay, so now we're going to put the phosphor bronze washer on. As you can see. And then we're going to put the scales on. Okay, at this point, what you're going to want to do to press the lanyard tube into the scale, what you want to do is press it in with a wrench. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go like this. Carefully, not damaging. Okay, popped in. Now what I'm going to do is start putting the screws back in. But I need a little... Loctite. So what I'm going to do is just take the pivot that you see here. I'm just going to hit it with a little locked. Oops! Shit! Came right out. I got too much. OK, 
Okay, so the pivot is ready to get screwed in. Just snug. Okay, so the pivot is in, as you can see. You can see the backspacer that I just installed. Okay, we gotta go back from the T10 to the T8. Okay, a little too much Loctite. No big deal. I just put in that one and that one. Now I gotta put this one in. Okay, that is a fully installed backspacer on a paramilitary 2. As you can see, everything came out okay. And it was virtually made possible by that tool I used that you saw. But here's what it looks like. Nice backspacer. I like it. So, yeah, I'm just kind of, um, getting used to YouTube, and I'm buying new cameras, and I'm getting used to the cameras, so, uh, hopefully this video came out okay, and, um, I gotta get a big tripod is what I gotta do, and, zoom it down so you guys can see it so just bear with me and I'll get it done and um, yeah it's uh this is the Maxima edition and now it's got a backspacer I like it a lot. Alright, well, um, that's it for today. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks, bye.